Hey guys, uh, what's up? Um, I went to Walmart, weighed a ton of packs, probably like 60 or so. Picked out the 11 heaviest. And I'm going to open them here. If you guys didn't see, I got... Um, I, I got 9 packs in the last video from Target. And I got some really nice pulls. I want 5 for 9. Which is which is pretty good as far as like ultra rare. I want five for nine. So make sure you check that out. I'll put in the I'll put an annotation at the end of the video. And um, so yeah, we're gonna weigh these here. Show you guys the weights. The Walmart ones are weird. Like how they what? So here I'll show you. Shoot. That one's a twenty nine point two nine. Like uh, the ones at Walmart are a lot heavier than the ones at Target. 29.35, like, no joke. 29.29. Yeah, I think they use more glue on the packs or something. I don't know. 29.27. I was going to go to Dollar Tree, but they didn't have any packs there, which really sucks. 29.36. As you can see, all these packs are a lot heavier than Target. Oh, shit. I probably screwed that one up. I'll set that one aside because I probably screwed it up. 29.26. All other ones are like 2 grams or 2, 10 grams, 20 grams higher than that one. So that one probably won't have any good thing good in it. So you got 29.28. Right. Oh, that might be FP2. I'll set those two to the side. That one too. That one's iffy. I don't know. Some of these might be iffy, but I guess we'll find out. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna take these all out of the package here real quick. I'll I'll take these three out first. I'm gonna open these first just to see if they actually have something good in them. Cause I'm not sure. They might be the lightweight ones. I don't know. I might have gotten it confused with Target, and those might have been like some of the first few packs I weighed, and then they seem like good weights compared to Target. And apparently not compared to Walmart. I don't know. Walmart just, might just use more glue or something. I'm not sure. But yeah, here we go. Oh my god, these packs are a lot easier to open than the Target ones. I just struggle with the Target ones. These ones are not difficult at all. So we got 11. So total, I've opened 20 packs. Well, I will open 20 packs today. Unless I get hit by a meteor when I have like one pack left. Should be kind of rare, I'd say. That pack gave me a fit. Yeah, I'm not sure about the one, the lightweight ones. I don't think they have anything good in them, but if they do, I'd be really surprised. Since they were like 2 grams, 10 grams. Or, dude, I got a ton of packs sitting over here. Look at this. Look at that mess. That's from the video before, too. Alright, so I'm going to weigh these all now. We got sleeves in the back. Yeah, my, my desk here is a mess. I'll have to clean it up then. But yeah, I'll show you guys how much the packs weigh. 20.02. 20.02. Twenty I think if they're over 20, they're good. 20.17. 20. 20.13. 1995. Yeah, that's one I'm scared of. I don't think that one's good. 20.11. Oh boy, that one's probably a dud. Ugh. All right, that one's probably good. Good. All right, so I guess I'll see if the ones here on the side here are duds. Oops, sorry about that. Are duds or not? I kind of think they are, but I'm trying to be a little bit optimistic and hope that they aren't. So yeah, I guess we'll see. I'll actually weigh them here real quick, just so I can tell you guys what pack I'm opening. So this one is a 1985. 1985. I hope I get something good, but I'm just not feeling. I think my chances are too good. I'd be kind of surprised if I got something out of these. 
All right, so we got Porygon, Golurk, Spinarak, Arvesta, Magikarp, Curlia, Lucky Helmet, Vespicon, oh my god, Poison, Porygon, and, yeah, uh, I hope all these aren't bad, though, so that would suck if I played the wrong ones, I don't think they're good, though, hey, if I can get a hollow out of them, I'd be impressed. Baltoy, Wooper, Gumi, Beldum, Unknown, Gloom, Sceptile Spirit Link, Flareon, Vaporeon, and yeah, yeah. I don't know, one of these might be lucky. I doubt it though. It's kind of an experiment though. It shows you that the lightweight ones are going to give you non hollow rares. Quagsire, Combi, Meowth, Oddish, Malamar, Rotom, Sceptile Spirit Link, Fatang, Blossom and Regirock. All right, so Regirock's not too bad. If you're ever looking for non-hollows, I'd buy them off of um, eBay. Don't don't buy packs and like buy the light ones. That's a terrible idea. So it's probably another dud. Yeah, it kind of sucks. I think what happened was I saw these packs and I thought, man, these packs are gonna be good because of the target ones that weighed that much were good. And I just sat them in the good pile and then I never took them out. So yeah. Kind of sucks, but yeah, we can get nothing out of those. I didn't think we would though, but oh well. You live, to, you live and learn. So I'll know next time Walmart. Don't get the ones that are like twenties, because those were good packs at Target. So yeah, got seven packs. I'm pretty sure, pretty damn sure these are good packs. So yeah, I'll weigh them. At least I got the majority right, so that's good. This is mainly just a learning experience for me. This one's a 19.94, so it's kind of iffy, too. I don't know. Kind of iffy. I guess we'll find out. Hope I can at least get a few EXs out of these, though. It would suck if I didn't. Gumi, Wooper, Spinarak, Quagsar, Magikarp, Ace Trainer, Gloom, Paint Roller, Porygon 2, and Porygon Z. Man, I did not do good on weighing these packs. I should have, like, took more time into it. Alright, 2001. This this guy has something good in it. At least a hollow. Yeah, this guy has something good in it. It's, a, it's over 20. It's like, that's a really good indication. Alright. Gumi. Inke. Baltoy. Persian. Golurk. Dangerous Energy. Curlia. Spirit Link, NK, and Hoopa EX. That's my favorite one of those. So I don't need any more Hoopas. But if I ever want to build that Turbo Mega Rayquaza deck, I got the Hoopas for it. So yeah, that's a pretty good pull. Yeah, I guess I didn't weigh them too well. I, I, crap, I might have screwed it up there. Yeah, it's still 19.99. I think that's probably a... I don't know, 1996 had an on-hollow, but the 2001 had an EX. Kind of weird. So far, the pulls haven't been too impressive, but that's because I screwed it up. Persian, Valtoy, Wooper, Gumi, Beldum, Flash Energy, Faded Town, Whimsicott, Reverse of Sligo, and I got hollow, so that's good. It's good. My third one, third board you got Z. So if any of you guys need any of these cards, just let me know because I don't need like Koopa or our guy. Board you got Z. So we got four packs left. I'm not kind of disappointed. I'm not gonna lie. Like I, I'm kind of disappointed that I screwed that up. I wasted like 16 bucks. I know. Baltoy, Malamar, Kumbi, Golit, Sligu, Ace Trainer, Ariados, Gumi, and Jolteon Hall. That's a good hollow. I'm happy with that card. It's actually my favorite one of these two, so I'm I'm good on hollows for Ancient Origins. I don't need any more hollows. I, I don't really need anything to be honest. I'm just trying to get more of the set. Alright, so we got three packs left. Hopefully we can get something, like, awesome in these last few packs. I'm really hoping, but then again, I don't know. Golurk, Porygon, Relic Amp, Persian, Eevee, 
Whimsicott, Fade Town, Blossom Reverse, and my rare is. Oh, <laughs> nice! Mega Rayquaza EX! Man, I'm happy about that. My boy, he pulled one of these and I was so freaking jealous, but uh, I got one now. Oh my god, I don't even think I need to buy Ancient Origins anymore. I just pulled the card that I wanted the most. Like, I was thinking about just buying this card instead of trying to pull it. Oh my god, what a great feeling. Mega Rayquaza EX right in the middle right there. That just made this opening worth it. I think that's the most expensive, or one of the most expensive cards in the set. Man, everything else is just extra here. That made my day. Damn, it's a nice pull. Right, Oddish, Enke, Golurk, Porygon, Relicamp, Force Giant Plants, Vespaquan. Oh my god, we've gotten so many Vespaquans. Last Sander. Energy Recycle and Ampro CX. I actually just traded my Ampro CX and now I pulled one, so cool. Cool. <laughs> Alright. Last pack magic. Last pack magic. Mega Tyranitar. Let me see how much this plays. I'm so happy about that. Mega Rayquaza. 2004, so it should have a at least a hollow. So we, are, we didn't do too good on these. We went 3 for 10 so far, which isn't too good. But it's not terrible. For a noob like me, I'm not too disappointed. I'm, I would have been disappointed, though, if I wouldn't have got that Mega Rayquaza. Like, if I would have just got Hollows the rest of the way, I would have been kind of disappointed. Alright, Meow, Gumi, Beldum, Oddish, NK, Sableye, Curlia, Energy Recycler, Flash Energy, and Verzion Hollow. So that's my fourth Verzion Hollow. Actually, I have one reverse, so that's a lie, but yeah, we can do so hot on these, but we're not nearly as good as Target, but we still did pretty good. I mean, we got, we went 6 for 11 as far as pulling hollows or EXs. I, I screwed up big time, but I, I could have got gotten 5 more hollows or EXs, but yeah, hey, you know, it is what it is. You win some, lose some. I, I feel like I won this one, though, with this Mega. Such a beautiful card. Um, so yeah, I don't know if I'll be buying any more Ancient Origins. I, I might. I am getting a $200 check in the mail, like, next week for some of my bulk. So, maybe I'll go get some cards. But I don't think it's going to be Ancient Origins, though. Probably Roaring Skies or even Primal Clash. Because I need Shaman EX and he's in Roaring Skies. So, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys liked the video and have a good day.